Hello, I'm Josep Muñoz and welcome to your Tech Dose. Anti-retro. On today's video, I'm going to talk about social medias, different kinds of social medias, not only the ones that you know. I'm going to talk about one in particular that it's new. It's special and I will tell you why. The main goal of social media is sharing with everyone what we do, everyone what we do thing, what we like, what we go, where we go. So basically at the end of the day we have our own lives shared through this kind of places. But one thing about social media it's the capacity of preview, review, edit. At the end of the day we can publish something, they take it out. Obviously the internet is a really mean place so you can be really careful because something it could kick you back. Like, I don't know, if you put an unfortunate tweet and then you take it out, someone maybe yeah, it had done already a screenshot. Well, stop going off track and let's go to the topic. Today I'm going to talk about Beam. Beam is a social network made by Katie Neistat and his buddy. They created a new way of sharing video, a way that it's like directly just watch the videos as soon as they have been released, no filming, no editing nothing. How it works this social network? Android devices and iOS devices have a proximity sensor. That sensor it detects the distance between you and the device and it adjusts the brightness uh, based on that. So what Beam does is take advantage of that sensor and as soon as you block the sensor you can start to record. The screen is black, you will not see nothing and automatically it will share online your video. So if you are looking at a sunset, you will be keep looking at a sunset. If you are in a concert, you keep enjoying the concert instead of just watching the screen. And also another good thing, it's the reactions feature. You can see the reactions of the people that is seeing, the, that is watching your video. How? The same app, it has a reaction camera, which is your selfie camera, and while you're watching the video, it's activated and if you click send, it's gonna send a picture of you watching that. Beam, what it does, it's automatically, first of all, it lets you record a video, but it doesn't let you preview the video, or even edit the video, or cancel the upload of the video. So basically what it does, it's you download the app, create your username, you're ready to go, you use the app to record a video, and then later on, the only thing that you have to do is just wait and see if people send you his own reactions. You have to download Beam, so basically there's two platforms that they accept Beam at the moment. One is being iOS and the other one it's being Android. Once you have downloaded, you just open the app. When you start on Beam, you, you approach with this screen, yeah, which is the discover feature. So you can see the people that it's around you or strangers around the world. Then you can see people that I follow, in this case, let's take Casey Neistat's feed for example. Yeah, it shows one of the latest videos, not the latest one because I did so the last beam. And when you tap in the beam, you will see that there's a picture in there. So you can send your reactions immediately. So it sends a picture and it does it through the button of send reaction. Once you go back, you tap back again, and it shows back again, in this case it's Casey with Francine. And how to share a beam? You have two options, okay? You, you can just share a beam, take in the proximity sensor that it's that thing that you have, for example, on the iPhone next to the, next, next to the thing there. In this case, I just touched close to it, and it detected that it was there. The video has to be at least two seconds to go. Or you can just put it on your chest, and it starts to record. Yeah, so basically what it does, it's recording the video without you having to see it, and then it sends it back to the internet as soon as I take off. Uploading one clip, the clips, they have a duration of five second stops. I do like Beam because you don't have to, to be like editing or it's just the instant and it works with everything. For example, you want a selfie. Okay, let's do selfie. Hey, I'm just filming for anti-retro now, guys. Uh, YouTube, anti-retro, and uh, I'm doing just a review for the Beam app. Now, for example, me doing the small talk to the people on Beam that I'm doing a review from the app. The good thing is that 
you can you can scroll back but what it was the main goal for BIM it's as soon as the video it has been built it has been reacted you will never see it again so basically it's a little bit like snapchat but in a good way because at snapchat you can download the things also there's buttons on the on the on the phone that it says camera or selfie so you can directly if you are not used to or you don't want to feel a little bit weird because you have to block the phone you can click those buttons the screen it's gonna be black so you're not gonna be seeing anything on this app another thing that you can do is search people what's trendy today for example there's uh, someone going to the airport packing cleaning the floors someone in an events venue uh, selfie who is nearby me oh there's there's a lot of people around me then you have people from Brooklyn bikers Germany musicians commuters so France because it's the Euro Cup today so in a few words BIM is a social media that allows you to upload video without even having to do nothing like Casey had said or Kevin Spicy in a, another video a little bit like magic you have the power to do some videos upload them sharing them to the world people will react so you will be able to see the reactions for me it's being now a thing that I could do every single time so yeah and you can like I said just block the proximity sensor on your screen which is in the iPhone that black bit next to the speaker or on your iPhone device as well there's a next to the top part of the screen or just making it simple tap and go so the BIM app is available on Android and iPhone so you, you can download this app going to the BIM website clicking the button of your um, platform Android or iOS and downloading the, the app for you for free or you can directly just go on your app store search BIM if you want just follow me Joseph Mono 89 I'm gonna be there sharing my things hopefully you too Today's episode ends here, please like, subscribe, down below there's a button or put any comments if you think that that social media is not for you, why it's not for you or if you think that that social media is awesome, why you think it's awesome. You can follow me on Beam and other social media apps, my username is JosepMonoth89. Thanks ever so much for watching and I see you on the next Tech Toast.